but hello. How are you doing today? Well, hopefully. My name's Sigma Who, and I'm signing on today to just kind of talk about something in my creative world, which is this um, Halloween build. Oh gosh, that music's kind of loud. One minute. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's it's fine, I guess. Okay. So this is my Halloween build thus far, and I do think it is pretty much near completion with the exception of those placeholder eyeballs. So let's go ahead and talk about what exactly this is, uh, how it got started, why it's here, what's it supposed to be, etc. So every year I try to do a Halloween build, keyword being try. Last year I was sick, didn't really get to do anything, and I wasn't going to let that stand for this year. So this year I went ahead and sat down and was like, I'm going to do this early, <laughs> you know, hence the Halloween build being in September. So the first thing you do with any build is you have to start with inspiration. Inspiration in this case for me was a song called The Face From Outer Space. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, pretty direct inspiration except instead of it being a humanoid disembodied head, I decided to go with an alien head inside of a rocket. So here's the end result, but that's not necessarily how it started. To kind of show you what I was doing originally, let's go ahead and take a look at this, um, this image. These are sketches that I had done when originally thinking like, hey, I want a floating head, but I just don't want a floating head. I want more. I want there to be some kind of a base. And I was pretty taken with the idea of having it in like a, a rocket capsule almost. So that's the one I went with. And based off of that, I then in turn looked for alien heads and face shapes and attributes like horns and uh, chin spikes and tube ears and like um, singular eyes, etc. Like that fit the same style. And then we ended up with this. This is what we kind of ended up with. Here's the original sketch, but as I was working on it in real time and not just, you know, concepting it, I realized that I liked the nose. I liked the nose a lot because it feels very Minecrafty. It looks like a villager, you know? So this is kind of like a Minecraft alien, so I want there to be a at least some type of an identifiable, hey, that looks like a Minecraft creature feature. And in this case, the nose is that feature creature in question. Creature feature in question. Da -da -da -da. Features. So up at the top, we have like a pointy bit on the rocket, which is actually a red candle uh, for no reason other than the fact that these rocket images are all red at the top and I didn't want to necessarily do that. I could, I could have replaced the fence with a mangrove fence and I could have replaced the wall with a brick wall, which would have created a red-like color, but then th there's no replacement for the end rod and I really liked that like pointiness that the end rod gave to the rocket, so I just did not uh, switch it out. I kept it as a pale color to match the body of the rocket. And speaking of the body of the rocket, as we can see, we've got like some stuff going on here. What's going on here? It is snow layers, snow, powdered snow, that transitions into white wool. And then from the white wool at the top, there's a gap where the alien head is. And then at the bottom, we have white wool, iron blocks, and then white concrete. And together, these create a gradient. So when you look at the rocket from afar, it appears as though it is lighter at the top and darker at the bottom, which was the intent. Now, as for the face, let's go ahead and take a look at the face. I thought to myself when looking at the colors, what color was something that would complement the red, you know, well, the blue slash green is good because um, there were a few requirements. Since I had a base head shape and a general idea of what I wanted to do, including the ear trumpets on this guy, uh, I knew I needed something with trap doors, and so that left me having to use a wood. And as you know, the woods in the game tend to be pretty neutral colors, and so I didn't want to have a neutral colored alien. I wanted like a very... Because when you think of neutral colors, like all of the all of the stair and slab and trapdoor options that we have, with the exception of the crimson mangrove and warped, they're all pretty much like something you can imagine is like a like a, something akin to a skin tone, right? And that's not that's not what I want. I want something completely so unrelated to what we identify as a skin color. Hence the the, the, the choice to go with blue. 
Uh, I mean, it's an alien. It's not supposed to be something we're familiar with and something we can connect with. It's supposed to be something that we're like, whoa, this is out of this world. You know? <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> okay. Um, and also, I had some nice options with the blue because of, like, the copper uh, oxidized, and I needed a uh, I didn't necessarily have to have a lighter color for the like sclera, but I chose that after like testing it with like darker and lighter colors, and I decided that a lighter color would make the eyeballs pop more, like the the pupil, what's supposed to be the pupil, pop more. I could have, again, I could have done the same with the red color, because there's lots of options for red. I think if we go over to this build I'm working on, part of the mess, there's lots of like red and orange and like muted colors that have a lot of like slab and trap door and um stair varieties and as you can see that was all stuff i had to use in the ear trumpet so that that all could have worked but i felt like the red and like the bottom and the red in the face i felt like that was too much red i felt like that was too much red now this uh I feel like that was too much red and it also left me with a problem because as you can see here I've got the blue and then I also have the green and then if I picked the red what was I gonna do for the green I didn't find any walls they're called walls I didn't see any walls that fit kind of as well with the horns as uh, the mossy cobble walls did uh, with the green horns and if I had done, for example, red, if I were to have done the brick walls, then it's too, like, uh, there's too much variation between a red terracotta and a red brick wall. So, uh, if we were to do that real quick, like here, we've got, like, a red terracotta right here, and then I go to wall. I could do granite, technically. But see like that's just too much color difference and again with the granite it's like just too washed out compared to the red terracotta and that was not something i was driving with and oh yeah um we have halloween skin sigma right now because it is september um yeah so that was just too like different and i wanted it to blend more smoothly because if i'm looking at this from a distance i shouldn't necessarily be seeing that type of color uh, difference at the top. I want the color difference to kind of be a very subtle gradient from the top down to the head, which is what we have from this distance. We don't notice that contrast up near the horns because there is no contrast up in the horns. It's all about the face and the rocket. Now, I imagine for this to really pop, you would want to put this into a paler environment, perhaps like a moon or a... Um, type of alien plant with a lot of pale rocks or dust, uh, maybe even like really light colored like uh, flora and fauna, just like create scenes and stuff. But like the point of this whole thing is that if we're kind of down here, there's a light environment and the sky's light. Um, yeah, he doesn't fit very well with the sky because he blends in. So he doesn't really blend in. It's just it's also blue, I guess. Because I imagined this to be not in this place where you can just see, like, oh, like, you know, he matches the sky. Um, the place where I'm planning to build this in my survival world, it's going to be, there's going to be, like, a cliff or a hill that I have sort of cut up behind it. And so I can create a nice backdrop for this. But the place in which I want to build it is actually a savanna. <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure how the rocket will fit in that case, but if I were to build it elsewhere i'd probably build it in a snow, a snow bio with a again a, a similar idea to where I, what I currently have with a backdrop and then that would help the face stick out more because it would be the only blue you would see and so your your eyes would be drawn to it like oh that doesn't fit the rest of the environment let me take a quick peek at that and then you'd be like that's a face well that's an eyeball but like, you know, that's a face. Uh, uh, fleh. I have two zoom keys, by the way, because um, one's like a, like a woo zoom, the other's like a boop zoom. So, uh, <laughs> and if you do a double zoom, very strange. 
last thing I kind of wanted to talk about was the use of light blocks in this rocket build. So at the bottom here we have a bunch of, whoops, we have a bunch of magma and stuff, but it's not really noticeable from the outside, or nor is it noticeable when it's nighttime from the outside. It is something purely like underneath the rocket that you don't ever really see. It doesn't even light anything up. Honestly, I don't even know why I added those. Um, maybe just in case you run under there, you're like, oh, you know, that, that feels kind of realistic a little bit. So the use of light blocks. So down here we have a combination of the, I believe this is the pearlescent, yes, frog light and the sea lanterns. So the reason I went with the pearlescent frog light, not the verdant frog light, which would have matched the sea lanterns better is because this is like a reddish color here and the eyes are like a purplish color currently so the pearlescent frog light sort of was a balance between those two colors because if i don't use the pearlescent frog lights i don't have like the eyes to be a red or a purple color then there's only red at the, bo at the bottom of the rocket and at the very very top which you don't even really notice so then it kind of leaves it awkwardly like well is this the only place i see this color like it doesn't feel harmonious I suppose is a good word to use so the point of this is to just kind of spread out that side of the color wheel like if we see my color mess over there like that is like red pinks and like magenta like all that's kind of on the same side so that's kind of stuff I wanted to spread out even if very subtly and of course the sea lanterns are a blue color which matches the face in all of its blue glory and that's another reason i kind of went with blue for the face is because otherwise i would have had to have made this section of the rocket and that section of the rocket all very similar in color and there wouldn't be anything interesting to look at up there especially since if you're coming at this from the ground you don't want that all to be like one color that's just kind of boring and lame I don't think this is necessarily the best solution, but it is still September, so I have time to tweak it and edit it as I feel fit. But currently, um, I really think the only thing I would change about it is not the colors or the pattern, but I would push it in a bit more. So the, the depth, I suppose, I would push that in a bit more to the top, and I would push this in a bit more to the bottom. Um, yes, that's kind of what I'm thinking with that. And uh, da, 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 da. Is there anything else to talk about with this face? Not really, like, uh, besides the yeah, sea verdant frog lights, like if I just, like if I just replace these real quick and then just kind of fly out, you'll see how everything looks like very monotonous. Yeah, it's like, why don't I just put snow in there then? It provides, a, it acts as a light block, yes, but it's just so bright in a way that, and like there's the, 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 the little green on the edges, it doesn't really add like, I don't feel, I feel it's like too much of like the cool colors, you know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't work as well in my opinion. Shoot. Behind the scenes there, don't look. <laughs> or maybe inside of them. Now there is something missing from this rocket and that is animation. There is nothing animated about it. There are no banners, no smoke, no water, um, etc, etc. And the solution to that, well there's two solutions. Either one is I can animate the rocket itself, I can add smoke coming out from where the thruster area is, but that's kind of awkward seeing as it's directly below this and I don't want the face to be like barbecued or like grilled or smoked or whatever. Like I don't want the smoke cooking the face, that's not what the goal is here. Uh, the other thing I could do is animate things a around the rocket. So again, this goes back to the environment I was speculating about earlier. What am I doing in the environment to provide movement or some type of interest to this? The obvious and obvious answer would be water, but water is a blue color. And if I want the face to be kind of like the only like very blue color around, then the water will subtract from the interest. It will be drawn to the face. Um, especially if there's a backdrop like kind of blocking out the sky like the, this will be like the only blue you see and that that's that's not gonna be interesting if you're like oh water oh cool um so there's that the other option is to have like smoke and fire around the rocket as though it's landed and there was like a cloud of like hot material kind of expelled from the rocket as it landed uh, and then so I'd have like a ring of like smoke and 
potentially debris around the rock yet, and I think that's what I'm going to go with for right now. So that is the status of the face that I will be building soon, hopefully if all goes well. Uh, of course this is a work in progress, nothing is set in stone, I mean it is... Uh, Actually, there's no stone in that build at all, so I can't say that's not set in stone. Yeah, there's nothing set in stone. It's all it's all up in the air. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's kind of floating. I'm going to quit with the jokes now. Okay, <laughs> so uh, status update, and if something changes, I'm either going to put it on my blog or I will just make another video. That is all for now. Thank you for listening. This has been Sigma Who, and I'm signing off.